Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render breasts. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a new layer. And with the selection pen active, we are going to only highlight one breast at a time. You need to hold shift and have it be reductive. That definitely helps you with the selection pen. We are going to take an airbrush and we are going to lightly round out the shape. Think of the breast like a sphere. You are going to round them out at the edges where light isn't touching. And since light is directly on the character here, we are going to treat it like almost like it's a circle or a sphere. We're going to do the same thing with the other side by highlighting the breasts again. And it really is just super simple. Um, you just have to practice it and it gets a little bit easier. You notice that the, that the shading gets a bit more intense where the bra or the uh, swimsuit hits. That's definitely um, something to watch out for. We're just going to go ahead and get the rest of the body here. Okay, now we are going to start adding the uh, darker shades. We want the arms to be covered by shadows, so we're going to go ahead and do that. You'll notice I add a very dark color. I'm going to be leaving my color palette for skin in the comments, so look out for that. I hope that helps you. Add a little bit of shading to the belly button, always nice. You can't go wrong with the belly button, it's, they're, they're kind of fun to draw. <laughs> so you can see I'm adding darker shadows, some lighter areas. I went ahead and included the rendering I did to the face here. Since I didn't do that much, it wasn't really necessary for me to go crazy with it. starting to add some light. You'll notice that I only have three layers right now with the uh, shading of the skin and you really don't need all that many. Sometimes I do it all on one layer but I truly don't recommend that. We are going to start adding a multiply layer to get the shadow of the head and the um, hair. Now I started off super saturated but I fixed that by hitting Control U and adjusting the brightness and opacity. I turned the saturation down so it looks very almost boring and almost ugly looking, but you fix that in post-processing. After post-processing, dull colors come to life. You'll notice I added the shadow of the hair. It, it's really improvised. It's not fully what the hair would actually cast the shadow as, but it gives the illusion of it. I then add the blush of the character. So we've skipped ahead quite a bit to where I've started to add the shines and all the other rendering is taken care of. So here pretty soon I'm going to be adding the shine to the breast, which is pure white since um, really we have a character who's pretty fair skinned. So then blend the shine a bit to kind of add some oomph to it. We then go to the very top and we're now going to start the, to add the post processing. Now what I do first is I'm going to make... Um, Yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> I made a um, add glow layer and I made it very uh, saturated red. And we are going to start adding kind of the glow to the skin. This is kind of my technique. I don't see a lot of people doing it, but it does help. Uh, I then add a multiply layer to add an overall shadow, something kind of dramatic to the whole thing. And I think it looks nice. I then erase parts of it to show a little bit of light coming through in areas. Alright, I then convert the layer, change the tonal curve to add more reds and blues to the shadows and highlights. I'm then going to be converting the layer again and making it hard light layer, and that's going to uh, make it shine whenever I blur it. 
and then reduce the opacity so it only touches it a little bit. I'm trying to keep up, but I think I sped the video too fast and I tried to slow it down, but then it went too slow. Um, I then changed the levels, making it not pure black because I don't like too much contrast in my artwork. I used to, but now I don't really care for it anymore. I then add chromatic abrasion, stretch it out in certain corners using the liquify tool, and that's how we did it. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor, like, comment, subscribe, it helps out a whole lot. If you hit the bell, it just lets the YouTube algorithm know that I did a good job, and it'll promote it more. I really appreciate it if you stuck around this long. You're awesome. See you later. Bye.